So here we are, it's four-wheel drive practice day here in France for the 2011 Electric Off-Road European Championships. Glorious sunshine on the track behind us and as practice is well underway, it's time for us to have some fun with some editing and some super slow-mo action as we pick out five drivers to watch. My first pick, of course, needs to be defending champion Lee Martin. Of course, last year in Austria, Lee was dominant in both the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive classes and he won the two-wheel drive class yesterday in the event here in France. Now, the sun set on two-wheel drive, but for Lee, it's going to be straight back to work. Yeah, I feel good, obviously. Um, I'm going to enjoy this event and this tonight as for what it is. And tomorrow is a whole new start, like it's a whole new game, and uh, I'm just going to try my hardest. My second pick is another British driver. It's going to be Neil Cragg. Now, of course, Neil, a former world champion in electric buggy racing, and was TQ at both the World Championships and the European Championships here in France uh, yesterday. Now, Neil is characteristically playing down his chances in four-wheel drive, but is he really going to be able to dominate? Hopefully, yeah. Uh, four-wheel drive's not usually my forte, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. Set it off pretty good in practice. It's looking pretty good. The third driver I've picked out is Austrian driver Hupo Honigl. Now, Hupo was a sensation at his home track in Austria last year, and he had a good result in two-wheel drive, but not quite what he was looking for. But he now seems confident going into the four-wheel drive event. It should be good. I think the car will be very good. Um but competition is always high, higher in four-wheel than it is in two-wheel, so it will be hard, but I'm looking for a podium. The fourth driver on my list is German driver Jörn Neumann. Now, Jörn was the standout European driver at the four-wheel drive World Championships earlier this year, but Jörn will be hoping to get all these gremlins out of the way during the practice rounds. I hope I can make the podium, and that would be very good. My final pick is French driver and local favourite Antoine Rossetti. Now Antoine had a great result finishing third on the podium in the two-wheel drive class. Huge cheers from the French crowd when he, when he went up to receive his trophy. But in the four-wheel drive class, that's actually his preferred class and he is former French national champion in this. So he'll be hoping to do much better, although the Durango dominance is clearly on his mind. Uh, uh, he thinks that the Durangos are going particularly quick um, and there's a lot of fast people, so he's going to do everything he can to get onto that podium. But so there's the, the competition is uh, pretty significant. So, uh, again, take it as it happens and, uh, and, and, and do his best. There we go. There's my five picks in no particular order. Stay tuned to all the action here in France throughout the rest of the week at f And don't forget, also follow me on Twitter, at RC Racing Ollie, for loads more updates as well.